Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, today the 24th of February, Holy Mother, the Church, calls us to the memory of St. Caesarius of Arles. St. Caesarius of Arles was the son of Gregory Nazianzen and St. Nona and brother of St. Caesarius of Nazianus. So, Gregory Nazianus, St. Nona were his parents. Caesarius of Nazianus, saint, was his brother. But Caesarius of Arles, from a very young age, was a bright student. He studied in Alexandria the philosophy and all the other subjects of his time and from there he went to Constantinople. In Constantinople he studied all the subjects and especially the medicine and he became a physician. So much so that he became the most famous physician of his time. And from there, uh, uh, Constantine did not want them to move from that place. But later, he and his brother went from Constantinople. And Julian the Apostate, who became the emperor later, he called back. He called him back. He called Caesarius back because he liked the way uh, Caesarius was a physician. And that's how uh, the treatment uh, and all was done to Julian the Apostate by Caesarius. Caesarius, uh, Julian the Apostate, as we know, was, uh, was running persecutions against faith. He, he did not like Christians. But he exempted all of that for uh, his favorite physician. And many a times Julian tried his best to make Caesarius uh, give up his faith. Caesarius did not give up his faith, but he was not also a kind of a fighter of his faith, not a warrior for his faith. He, he was a little lax in the uh, area of faith even. Once uh, where uh, he was going to another place, there he nearly escaped an earthquake. Caesarius of Arles nearly escaped an earthquake and then he understood uh, uh, the importance of faith and after which he did not give back, uh, go back to the king. He got back to the faith, uh, living the faith in all its richness. And as the result of it, he immediately was killed. So dear brothers and sisters in Christ, having a mother and father who are saints did not make Caesarius of Arles a saint. Having a brother who was saint did not make Caesarius of Arles a saint. All his education did not make him saint. His capacity as a physician did not make him a saint. And keeping to the faith, even in the, even in the light of persecution, in the face of persecution, did not make him a saint. What made him a saint was that he understood that keeping of faith is not only exterior but interior. That moment of earthquake, made him realize and from then on he with his personal conviction started believing in God and professing the faith even to death and that's what made him saint. My personal conviction makes me saint, not my identity, not my surrounding. So let's pray that the Lord may help us to come with such personal convictions which will help us to live a holy life. Amen.